I can, I can't not, that's a double negative. I cannot not tell you this right now. I cannot not document this. Um, I am in the middle of editing a vlog. I edit vlogs in the tractor now. You are never going to guess what just happened. Is this a luck thing? Is this a superstitious thing? I don't know. I am in the middle of editing the vlog where the shear bolts were breaking and we've been completely fine. And just now I went to go dump Zach and get him unloaded. And guess what he tells me? A shear bolt broke. I am, I'm in disbelief. I don't know what he's doing right now, but I'm in shock. I, did I do that? <laughs> I don't know. We're not in wet corn anymore. We haven't been in wet corn, but obviously the previous owners have had this issue quite a bit because they had a bunch of extra shear bolts in their in their little toolbox. What is beeping? Oh my gosh. I I'm in I don't even want to tell anybody this. I, that I was editing that vlog. And they get on the radio and say, hey come over here and do this. Let's go see what's going on. Well, it's exactly what happened last time. We're in the same boat. <laughs> Piece of crap. <laughs> no, but we're trying to get all of this. I remember you had a crescent last time. I got one in there. Okay, okay never mind. Sorry. He doesn't need a crescent. He needs a long flathead screwdriver. This one's probably too thick, huh? Uh, yeah, I have to a long yeah. one. I don't think there is. So yeah, same issue. Um, he's uh, having to replace this and I'm hoping it helps. Gosh, I really hope this works. I guess I just need to shut up and not say stuff like that anymore. <sighs> I jinxed us. I done messed up. Where is all your longer, skinnier screwdrivers? Just one of these will be fine. Well, you said flat. Show my toolbox. We haven't filled this yet. You gotta be missing. Empty. This will be fine. How dare you have an empty toolbox? It's empty. We just got this one, and How we didn't want to empty another one out to fill this one. So that we're planning on filling this one. We just haven't had time. I want to see everybody's toolboxes in the comments. Hey, there you go. That's actually a good idea. Let me see your toolbox. In the yeah, I have like nothing in this one yet. It's pretty much empty. Okay, so we're gonna get this fixed. Hi, everybody's gonna be working. I am gonna go home and put all the kitties in the barn because I don't like them to be out after dark because we have a lot of coyotes that snatch them up. And we would have been done before dark. I but, know, but. this is so annoying. We were on such a good roll. Okay, so I'm going? Yep. Okay, I'll be back. Made it back to the house. All the kitties are in that barn, except for one and he always doesn't come. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna run back to the field and see if he's got it fixed. If not, then I'll try my best to help him. I don't know how much help I am other than holding some tools for them. So we'll see. Back. And you remember that vlog where the shear bolts broke and I mentioned that looking in this is like looking for a needle in a haystack? He dropped a lot of stuff in it. But I gotta try to find it. So you're still missing one. Oh. One tiny, tiny drill bit. 
Oh, okay. oh no, you're missing two. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't know. There should only be one drill bit missing, that's it. Because I have it right here. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm good for. <laughs> My job here is done. <laughs> <laughs> say there's an 18 in my toolbox or actually there's one in that channel on too. We got that sucker out of there. It's crazy how this little thing has become such an issue and it's broke off perfectly flush. Yep. What you gonna do? Don't You're gonna beat the crap out of it with a hammer? I brought you this so that we don't lose your tools in the corn. Are you guys gonna give me crap that Zach's wearing a ring and I'm not? Because his ring is made out of silicone and costs 50 bucks. Oh. I have a little tool on oh, it. Somebody didn't put it where it's supposed to go. Let's see. Drop this on my feet. Oh, drop it on your feet. Are you wearing? No, nope. he never wears toes. <gasps> yes. Where'd it go? There it is. What a punk. Look at that. <laughs> One thread was holding that thing on. How Holy. annoying is that? Oh, that is so obnoxious. Stupid. Very I stupid. mean, silly. Bad words. Oh. Okay. Now we're ready to face the actual problem that we what? had to begin with. The shear bolt? The auger's plugged. <laughs> oh yeah, I already forgot. I was like, yay! This was problem number two. The auger's not actually plugged. I'm fairly certain it did the same thing. We're in that end section. It jumped the cog, which stopped that end auger just for a second, and it just breaks the shear bolt. It's, this is like a previous problem from the previous owner that's band-aided and really to fix it right we're going to be stripping the whole auger out of the whole thing and we just don't want to do that with being that right in the middle of harvest yeah What do you need? You have your, oh, you already have everything up there. You need your impact and stuff? Okay. Okay. Okay, he's gonna try this. God, I hope this works. Ah, oh, you can't see it, so I'm too short. I'm a little taller. I think it's working. coming out, that's a good sign, right? I don't know. By the way, I found the last little drill bit. Please work! Okay, I'll meet back up with you after he's done. 
they're fixing combines. And this is just why we can't have nice things because this is what I do. I try to bring his pickup pick back. And these are like the worst tracks, sprinkler tracks that we have in all the fields. And I just, I just, you know, I center the pickup in the sprinkler tracks. Just can't have anything nice around me. I was just trying to help, but I didn't see it. It was all covered. Okay, he's folding it back up, so that's a good sign. I haven't talked to him yet. Gosh, I hope this works so we can keep going at least. We were so on schedule to finish two circles today with three people, mind you. Goodness. Made a lot of banging noises, but I can hear the corn leaving the spout like normal. I think. Yeah, I didn't get that banging on the camera. That was, that's a scary noise. Is there corn coming out? Good job! <laughs> what are you laughing at? Talking to Blake. Oh. He said he was at deer and he asked if they had shear bolts and they had four, so he just bought them all. Aren't so they tw like, the twelve dollar a piece bolts? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I know them. <laughs> <laughs> so i guess goodness the flies are driving me crazy try to get it turned and then i'll try to get this in there and just fit it on there try to get it turned yeah you have to, to turn it up to the side you, so you want me to get it from the top right well, yeah yeah know. like this like this so that you can hit it from the side yeah, like, try you want me to ratchet it because my arms and are skinny and small if you can fit in there yeah you, I might be able to. Take, How does it feel? <laughs> How are things going? I feel like. I are you ready to be in the vlog? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Is this how you feel? <laughs> Sorry, now I feel bad. So how's it going today? Dance, monkey. <laughs> Dance. No, you're not that bad. That was so funny the other day when you were telling me to cut the camera. You looked like he was like. <laughs> I was like, what are you it's like you better at? shut that off quick <laughs> Cut. okay um, your thoughts how do you feel about single-handedly saving the harvest <laughs> operation today i don't think that's accurate i guess accurate. i guess real quick i wasn't planning on doing this on my phone but we can make an update so the same yeah, problem that we've everything. been having with this since we got it and this is something the ownership before us i don't even know what they did to be honest but this is obviously a problem from before so this has the folding, uh, whatever you want to call this, the folding section on it. This auger is in one section from here to right past that. There's a spring on this end that literally holds this auger this way. And it's on a spring so it can press in. Where this auger and this auger connect is two cogs and they're, I can't, I don't have two hands. So I can't do this. I can't show you. But there's a cog on each side looks like this and they, meet together and they lock together so that when this auger spins that auger spins well what keeps happening is like this we hit a rough sprinkler track right here this spring isn't strong enough to keep pressure out on that so it bounced in this auger stopped which plugs this section breaks the shear bolt so there's a there's a little splined piece right here that's maybe five inches long we're literally putting hose clamps in that spline piece so that this section can't bounce back as near as far to try to keep it from jumping cogs and of course there's like you can see that there's barely any room to get your hands that's why she's just taking over i have it tight it's just not getting like real tight I, don't know how to okay, I think we're good now that sprinkler needs to get out of the freaking way i need to put some footage of the uh the times that we went to check this sprinkler because it is wild how different it all looks we drove down that pivot road every day for so long and now it looks like a whole different area because of how dry and yellow it went from dark green to just straight yellow it's wild how fast all of that happens so there he goes 
gonna cut a little bit and I'm just gonna wait for him to hopefully dump some corn in my green cart and then we'll be good. Gosh, I hope this works. It's really fun. If you don't get frustrated if it's not too hot, I enjoy doing it. But you're good. Five minutes later. Well, pretty bummed out. It didn't work. I don't know what happened yet because he's not talking on the radio right now. But Blake's here and obviously it didn't work. So. <sighs> I wonder what the heck is going on. It's so annoying. Why can't this happen at a better time? I don't even know why I asked that. <laughs> it never happens at a good time. Well. Now he's up there physically. Gosh dang it. I don't know if you guys know what pig weeds are, but they are the devil and then pollen sucks. Okay. Alright. Alright, well, trying this again. He got it unclogged, but we're at the same issue. What do we do now? What do we do after this? The shear bolts keep breaking, then what's the point? Gosh, this day really turned out a lot crazier than we had planned or hoped for. But it was fine because we had that tech come out that I always talk about that's just really fast and he's super close to us, so it always turns out. But remember what Zach said about that thing? This auger is in one section from here to right past that. There's a spring on this end that literally holds this auger this way. And it's on a spring so it can press in. Where this auger and this auger connect is two cogs and they're, I can't, I don't have two hands, so I can't do this, can't show you. But there's a cog on each side looks like this and they meet together and they lock together so that when this auger spins, that auger spins. Well, what keeps happening is like this, we hit a rough sprinkler track right here. This spring isn't strong enough to keep pressure out on that. So it bounced in, this auger stopped, which plugs this section, breaks the shear bolt. So to fix it, that guy came out and he made a spacer so that the spring doesn't compress as much. And I'm literally just regurgitating whatever Zach told me. And then obviously, as you see here, we worked till dark and everything went smoothly from there. So happy we have somebody to just come out like that. It's really, really helpful. Anyway, I've gotten a few questions on how I load the semis and I did it a couple different ways depending on what kind of corn we were picking. So we had the wet corn and now that we're in the dry corn, I'll kind of make a video in the next vlog kind of showing you guys how I do it. it feels like even though it's the same concept people all over the world and country might do it a different way and I think it's really interesting to kind of show how we do it but as always guys the comment section is like the biggest support system ever do not be scared to ask questions you could be just like me and come from the city and don't know how things work and you might want to know how things work so if you want to see anything from me let me know and guess what if I don't know how to do it 
Zach will, and he might be able to explain it a little better. We are at 107,000 subscribers as I make this, and I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for continuing to help me grow. Also, if you want any merch from me, let me know, kind of help me brainstorm on what you guys would like, what you guys would wear. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I've had a couple questions about that as well, and maybe we can make it happen. Love you guys so much. Right after I post this, I'm gonna be going through comments and trying to reply to as many as I can in the tractor while I can. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, love you, bye.